Hi Libra, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for November 13th through November 19th. This is for the sign of Libra. I do have to remind you that this is not a private reading, okay? This is a reading for hundreds and thousands of people, so it may not resonate with you, okay? It might not resonate a bit. It may or it may not, okay? I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment. I will zoom this in correctly once the cards are laid out. All right. Look at that. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? All right. So the basis of your reading is the Ten of Wands. So that tells me that many of you are carrying around something that no longer serves you, okay? You're carrying it around, it's heavy, and it needs to go. There's no reason to carry it. It's not doing you any good. Okay, what's it doing for you to carry it around? Whatever it is, is that you're carrying around, what is it doing for you? All right? I think it has to do with love. All right? I think many of you are wanting a romance with someone and you are not letting it go. There's a lot of confusion. You're praying for a door to open, to reopen, okay? You are. Or you're praying for a new door. So this is for hundreds and thousands of people. Somebody is waiting for a door to reopen that has been closed or they're looking for a whole new door completely. All right, so we do. I do see that many of you are working on mastering your emotions. You're making progress. You're heading in the right direction. You've put yourself in the driver's seat, and you're moving on, okay? I see forward movement, okay? This is a love reading. I feel like um, there's a new exciting opportunity in front of you something beautiful really seriously this is for Libra a new exciting opportunity and I think it has to do with love for some of you there could be a new offer of love okay a new connection um, a new relationship uh, the thing is is you might you might feel like ignoring it I hope that you don't Okay, I feel like somebody is ignoring a situation. I'm not sure who it is that's watching this, but somebody is ignoring the truth of a situation and they know they have to make a decision, but they're pretending that they don't have to, you know, or they're pretending that it's not really true. So this can go many, many ways, but I do see that many of you are could be receiving messages of love this week something you've been expecting perhaps maybe you've been waiting for it and waiting for it and waiting for it and finally it's coming all right um, I think many of you have been working on loving unconditionally and perhaps because you've done that this new offer of love is coming in there is new love here for somebody I don't know who it's for but I see that you're you are cautious, you know, you you are confused about this new love. Okay, there's definitely some confusion. And, uh, you know, I'm not sure why. Because you haven't let somebody else go. 
maybe you have to let somebody else go. Maybe that's what it is. You have a choice between two people. Do you stay stuck in the past or do you move forward? Okay. So for many of you, that's truly the case. All right. Do you stay waiting for the past or do you move forward with a new love? Okay. So I think that's the case for somebody. I'm not sure who. I think you've put all of your... Uh, energy into something and you've been waiting for something to happen but it feels like it hasn't happened and perhaps you're finally letting it go and now now you're that you're letting it go something new and exciting is coming in I do see new love new excitement new adventure new growth new opportunities for you Libra I see a lot of newness <laughs> as you can see. And it's because you have become aware. You have opened up. You have become willing to accept new things. All right? I think your awareness has really blossomed, okay? I just feel like you've released some fear. I'm going to start shuffling for the next pull. Many of you are feeling very beautiful this week. You're probably looking very beautiful. You may be feeling very creative. It may be a time of renewal for you. For some of you, there even could be, you know somebody could get pregnant there could be a birth there could be a rebirth okay a rebirth of your soul that leads to new love maybe you have a new feeling of love for somebody okay maybe you've let go of the past and you're starting to have feelings for somebody else but you're still confused because You've been stuck for so long on something. I mean, there's death, but the two of swords right there, somebody has been stuck. Somebody's been procrastinating. Did I say two of wands? I meant to say two of swords. Somebody has been procrastinating. They've pretending. They've been grieving. Somebody's been grieving. Oh, that ten of wands again touching right together as many of you have released a heavy load you've released something that no longer serves you and it took inner strength to do that okay it did wow and because you've let go there's new love coming in for you because you've mastered your emotions, you moved on from something with this chariot card. You've moved on. Celebrate your success. You're heading in the right direction. And for many of you, love is on the horizon. It's here. There's only one problem. You are still stuck somewhere. You're ignoring something or you're procrastinating with moving forward with this new feeling of love because you still have that glimmer of hope with somebody from the past or the glimmer of feelings. There's still something left with somebody in the past and you're still guarded about this new love. Okay, but you're being offered a new opportunity for growth. You're being offered a new partner. New, get it? New, a new partner. But you got to stop pretending. You do. You need to stop pretending about something. I see something beautiful and wonderful. Okay. There certainly could be a pregnancy, just saying for somebody. There could be a pregnancy or news of a pregnancy or news of a birth this week. Something to do with children for somebody. 
We have the Seven of Cups twice now. Be careful what you choose because what you own owns you. Be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice, okay? With the Seven of Cups. Be prepared to live with the consequences. Do you want to stay stuck or do you want love? Do you want to be, you know, ignore the truth or do you want new love? Be prepared to live with your consequences. You have the Seven of Cups twice. Be prepared to live with the consequences of your choices. Okay? I think for many of you, you have gotten your life back on track. The peace is here. The harmony is here. Happiness is in your future. You have mastered your emotions. You have moved on. Balance is coming back. And now, love is here. No fear. No fear. Move forward. Okay? Move forward. Take care of yourself. Honor your needs. Honor your desires. I see for many of you, new love could be coming in. You are being given new opportunities for a new partnership. There's only one problem. For many of you, you have to make a choice. Is it the past or the future? Do I stay over here? Do I, I stay here and hope for the best with something that is too heavy to carry around? Or do I really move forward with this new love? This is for Libra. If you want to know more about me, you can watch my welcome video or check out my Let's Talk um, videos. Those are done live, usually at night on YouTube, and they can become very interesting, put it that way. I'm getting you three angel romance cards to see what else comes up. I think you guys have a new love, okay? There's only one problem. You still have a glimmer of hope or feelings or whatever for a past love. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. All is not as it seems. It's not. Oh, this is a very good one. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest of energy of all. And as soon as you do that, it is going to come charging in. Charging. Full force. As soon as you open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all to the right one. Okay. It's going to come charging in for you. But you have to let go of something heavy first. Because the Ten of Wands is there twice. Something heavy is weighing you down. Blocking it from happening. Let that go. Realize that it is safe for you to love. And it is going to come charging in. Oh, I think that's the card right there. Oh. Trust. Trust. There's a new love here. There is. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith and trust. This week is about letting go of the past or a burden that is very heavy for you to carry around. That's the basis of this week. So this reading is not a private reading. Some of you have already let go. 
Some of you have not. This week you may. This week you may not. Next week you may. You know, time is fluid. That's where I'm going with this. The timeline is based on you for this reading. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Open your heart to new possibilities. They are being offered to you. With the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands, you are be given, being given new love, new, a new partner, new growth, should you choose to accept it and let go of something that no, no longer serves you. But you have to have trust and faith in the universe, in yourself, in the future. So Libra, this is for you November 13th through November 19th. Talk to you later.